Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about audio synergy. Now, let's a little background on synergy. Synergy is when one plus one equals three, when the sum of the individual parts added together are greater than the whole. And really, that's what we're trying to do with our systems. We're trying to, I don't know if mix engineers are, maybe, but playback, you know, two-channel playback theater, we're, we're trying to, you know, have a synergy of all these components, all this knowledge, all this thinking that we've put into this process. You know, we want a synergy. We want something bigger than the gear and bigger than the room, okay? So we got speakers and what do we have? We got source, then we got the room and the receiver. So the room is kind of between us, right? From our, between the source and the receiver, we have the room because the energy has to go through the room. So that's how powerful that sequence is. Speakers, amp, CD, source, all these sources of energy have to be transmitted through the room. So if we're going to talk about synergy, we're going to talk about source, amps, speakers, CDs, all those things. We got to talk about the room because that's where the, all this energy goes before it gets to us, which is the receiver. So the best signal path is that direct energy. Remember, in rooms, we're always, you know, looking at this direct energy from speakers, but we got all this reflected energy from side walls, rear walls, and all of this. So, but the purest energy is this direct energy. That's why we have our speakers equal distance apart. That's why this is an equilateral triangle, because we know sound travels at a certain speed. We want the arrival times to be equal. That's the beauty of stereo. Once you get them equal and you get the sidewall reflections balance, you do get synergy, okay? But look at what you gotta go through to get it. You got room everywhere, back here, here, everywhere right? So we want less room sound. We must reduce the room distortions if we're going to do that. We must start with modal pressure and reflections. It's low frequency energy first. We got to deal with that first because the fundamentals are the cause of everything. So we want to get that done right away. Reflections are next. Then we get a nice balance between direct and reflected energy get all those reflections. Remember, we got primary, then the primary goes across here, hits this wall, comes back. Secondary goes over here, hits it, comes back. Tertiary, all kinds of things going on here. So we have to really be careful with what we're doing. We have to think through everything. Got to get the modal pressure resolved first. And then the room distortion, as we decrease these distortions, modal pressure, reflections, proper setup and stuff, we get less distortion, thus more resolution. So the higher the resolution, the better chance we have at audio synergy. And that's the goal here. So a lot of links in this chain that have to be strong, the right thickness, so to speak, hooked together correctly, the right lengths. There's all kinds of issues that we have to go on. There's no easy setup. But as with synergy, whatever you're adding, two things together and you're hoping to get a, a th number three out of one and one, it's going to take some effort. Audio Synergy, I hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.